A relative of the jellyfish, the man of war moves about by raising and lowering its gas-filled sail. Think you're looking at one organism? Ha, <laughs> wrong. Multiple organisms called polyps are all working together to breathe, reproduce, feed, and survive in one gelatinous body. These tentacles can stretch up to 50 feet long, and most of them are studded with venom-packed stinging cells. They're a death trap for hapless sea critters. The venom is even strong enough to kill humans who get entangled in the massive tentacles. Ha! Now, well, that's no concern for these little guys. As far as scientists can tell, this gnomius or man o' war fish has only a limited immunity to the venom, so it mainly relies on its small size and keen reflexes to quickly swim out of the way of those stingers. Other fish are attracted to its seemingly protected position, only to get zapped by the man o' war. Now, here's the gushy part. The digestive organs enter the monstrous drama. They wriggle and twist as they fasten their flexible mouths onto the victim. They engulf the fish and dissolve its flesh. Pretty wild. Yet, the mighty man o' war is not invincible. Among its foes, this young, hungry, loggerhead turtle. The turtle skin is too thick for the stingers to penetrate and launch their venom. But what about the turtle's eyes and mouth? Scientists don't know, and the turtle isn't talking. And as for other foes, there's this odd little sea slug called a nudibranch that latches on to the man-o-war and feeds on it. It digests the smaller stinging cells and the bigger, more potent stinging cells? Amazingly, those consumed stingers pass directly through to the nudibranch's extremities, where it uses their poison for its own defense against whatever might want to bite it. Imagine one creature's poison being another's food.